Peter's talking right now to comedian Pat Cooper. Peter. Thanks, Jill. Well, Pat, what do you think about all this hassle we caused yesterday? Anyway, first of all, you got to have a sense of humor. I know Jimmy Walker, and I don't think Jimmy Walker is a vindictive man, and he doesn't need me to defend him. I'm going to tell you honestly, this man is not a hurting man. He didn't uh, disrespect the older people, because Jimmy Walker and I many times did benefits for senior citizens around the country we gave of our time. He's a loving man. He cares about it. He has a sense of humor. We must have a sense of humor. Listen, I kid my mother. I mm -hmm. kid my father. I kid my relatives. You know, if you don't have a sense of humor, forget about it. Certain things you shouldn't kid. You know, shouldn't kid the people. People are dead, you know, or people who are really sick and make fun of that. Okay, we draw a line. But I'm sure he didn't mean anything by it. He said, do me a favor, you people. Go see the show. He's a funny guy. The whole show's funny. When you finish with his show, come and see my show. That's, that's right. I mean, you can say that when you're not even in the show. That's, that's no, I would go and see that show because there's four talented people on that show. And people say, well, that's your competition. They're not my competition. They're friends. We're all looking to make a dollar. And uh, I hope this thing that happened yesterday with Jimmy Walker might bring sell some more tickets for both of us. I was talking to another, another comic that's on the beach now, a guy by the name of Bob Shaw. I don't know whether you know him or not. I know of his work. Very yeah. funny man. Bob says to me, well, you know why comics are the way they are? It's because their parents mistreated them when they were children. No, his parents mistreated him. <laughs> Yours didn't mistreat no, him. My, my parents mistreated him, too. <laughs> See, all parents mistreated Bob Shaw. That's not true. I don't believe that's true. I think we've had, like, you know, maybe minor little tragedies as, as kids. I'm a streetwise person. And when you're a streetwise person, you've got to have a sense of humor. Otherwise, you're in a lot of trouble. And when I was a kid, I ran away from home. A little adventure, you know, the, the Tom Sawyer of, the, of my day. And you had to have a sense of humor to sleep in the subway all night long. Mm. You know? And if I didn't have a sense of humor, I might have gotten serious trouble and selling newspapers on the street corner, shiny shoes in the subway. You have to have a sense of humor. And the older people are watching the show, please, laugh a little bit. It's good for you. We don't want you to be in wheelchairs. We want you to walk, get up and dance and have fun. Unfortunately, you are there. You have to laugh at yourself because the pain won't go away unless you laugh at yourself. Ah. Let's, uh, let's uh, talk about something we were talking about before the show. On Broadway, somebody's talking about bringing back the Ed Sullivan show. Well, you yeah, mentioned that. Yeah. <clears throat> a friend of mine, Jack Warner, wants to produce a thing called the Toast of the Town, Ed Sullivan's Toast of the Town, and bring back some of the people that made, you know, became very famous. Jackie Mason, myself, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, Di Diana Shaw's, and all the... Uh, so we're going to try to get a show together. I hope it works out because he's a smart man. Are they going to try and put it at the Ed Sullivan Theater up there? Or no, I think it? Would maybe Radio City Music Hall, and then go on tour with it. Oh. You see, take yeah. it on tour. Because people, I think, like, still like the vaudevillian kind of a show. They like to see the dog act, the juggler, and the comic, and the dancer. Now, I saw a show called Argentina, uh, Tango Argentina. <clears throat> it was supposed to be on Broadway two weeks. They were already four months. To see good dancing again is wonderful. And to mm. see good tap dancing instead of the same dirty comics. Because mm. we're getting dirty comics today, filthy, dirty comics. They don't want to see that no more. It's over. I want to see something nice and something uh, beautiful, a dance team, a, 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 a top dancer, a juggler, a horse sack, a dog act. We could go, we, we're going to go back to that. The Cosby Show proved the point, I think. People I was just going to ask you about yeah, that. People want to laugh without garbage anymore. The Andy Griffith Show, the old shows, are becoming yeah. bigger and bigger. They became cult shows. The kids in college now, who I, who I now want to kiss them, they're taking the garbage out of their shows because they had a lot of comics say garbage. Now they want to bring the Andy Griffith back and the common sense and the niceness that this country is built on, the home life. That's what we want. So if a guy says, uh, makes a little joke about uh, an elderly woman or something, laugh it off, forget about it. Please, I, uh, because I, listen, I kid the Jewish people in my act, and I go, what a pleasure to be here, you're such a warm mother. And they laugh, and I kiss and I hug, I adore them. There's an expression called quelling. Mm -hmm. I quell for right. these people, <clears throat> not to embarrass them. They're good enough to spend to see my show. What can I say but only thank them? This is my living, and this is Jimmy Walker's living, and he's got to make a living. But I tell you, I think you helped him. I think you helped the show. I think okay. you helped the whole beach. Well, Pat, uh, we'll see. Maybe we can do it again. Well, I'll, I'll get controversial next time. Then, okay. they'll, then, then, then they'll fire me. <laughs> we got Tony Martin starting Thursday. Tell him, please. Okay, Tony Martin starting Thursday, by the way. Jill? Sounds like a good show. Thanks, Pat.